In this tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how to solve the Rubik's Mini, also known as the two by two. If you're just starting out on your Rubik's journey, don't panic, you're in safe hands. If you've already learned how to solve the original Rubik's Cube or one of our other products, then you'll be able to transfer some of those skills here. We are going to be solving the Rubik's Mini using the layered method. We will be solving the top layer first and then the bottom layer. After watching this tutorial, you will be able to solve the Rubik's Mini. You can download this guide in booklet form or mobile version from the Rubik's website. Just head over to rubiks.com, click on solve, and there is the guide for you to download. Now let's get to know your Rubik's Mini. There are two horizontal layers in a Rubik's Mini, the top layer and the bottom layer. There are six faces on a Rubik's Mini. The up face is on the top layer and the down face is on the bottom layer. When correctly solved, White will always be opposite to yellow. Green will be opposite to blue. And orange will be opposite to red. The Rubik's Mini is made up of eight corner pieces. Each corner piece has three colors. As we go through this tutorial, the moves you need to follow will appear at the top of the screen. The moves tell you what face to rotate and what direction. Think of the movement of these objects when we turn the faces. Up face. Down face, left face, right face, front face, and the back face. This is my front face. If I rotate the cube, this is now my front face. It's important to maintain the front face of the Rubik's Mini so it stays at the front throughout all of the turn. Faces, up face. If you see this move on screen, it means move the up face clockwise. And with an apostrophe, it means move the up face counterclockwise. Down face. If you see this move, it means move the down face clockwise. And with an apostrophe, move the down face counterclockwise. The left face. Left clockwise. Left counterclockwise. The right face. Right clockwise. And with an apostrophe, counterclockwise, the front face clockwise with the apostrophe counterclockwise and the back face clockwise and with an apostrophe counterclockwise. Each move is a quarter turn. A sequence of moves in a row is called an algorithm and they need to be done in a specific order. If there is a two next to the algorithm letter, you need to turn the face twice. This means turn the right face clockwise twice once, twice. A few important tips for success before we move on to the first lesson. Mindset is critical. If you persevere, you can solve the Rubik's Mini. Keep the Rubik's Mini on a table or use a mat to maintain the same front face through the entire algorithm. Let's scramble our cube and learn to solve the Rubik's Mini. Step one, solve the top layer, first and second corners. We'll be solving the top layer first we will start by solving these two corners. Begin by finding your Rubik's logo, here. Point it on the top, facing the ceiling. This will be our top layer. Now, find the piece that has a white tile, a blue tile, and an orange tile in it. If it's already in the right position, you can move on to the next step. If it's in the top layer, we just need to move it into the bottom layer first of all. If it's already in the bottom layer, then hold tight. We'll be showing you the next step shortly. At this point, your Rubik's Mini will be in one of the following three positions. So the white, orange, and blue, if you turn it so it's in the bottom right corner of the top face, you'll either have orange on top, blue on top, or white on top. So to move our corner into the bottom layer, it's the same algorithm for all three cubes, which is right counterclockwise, down counterclockwise, right clockwise. It's now positioned on the bottom layer. Hold your Rubik's Mini with the white tile with Rubik's logo on the left and move the down face so the piece we're moving is on the bottom right. At this point your cube will be in one of three positions. Either the white tile facing you, the white tile on the right face, or the white tile on the down face just follow slightly different algorithms to be able to complete it. So when it's facing you, the algorithm is right clockwise and puts it into position. When it's on the right, 
we follow this algorithm. Right, counterclockwise, down, counterclockwise, right, clockwise. And if it's on the down face, follow this algorithm. Down, clockwise, right, twice. Now you should have two corners looking like this, ready to move on to the next step. Solve the top layer, third corner. Now we are going to move the third corner onto the top layer into place. Find the corner piece that has white, orange and green. If the third corner is already in the correct place, you can move on to the next step. If the corner is on the top layer, but in the wrong position, we just need to move it onto the bottom layer first. If you have your two solved white corners on the left hand side of your cube, your cube will be in one of the following five positions. If your cube looks like this one, with the white tile on the back, simply follow this move, right counterclockwise, and that'll put your corner into the correct position and you can move on to the next step. However, if your cube looks like this, with the white tile on the right face, or on the top face, but in the wrong position, we just need to move it onto the bottom layer. So we just follow this algorithm for both of them. Right, clockwise, down, counterclockwise. And now it's on our bottom layer. If your cube looks like this, with the orange on top, or the green on top, it's just one algorithm for both cubes, which is right, clockwise, twice, down, counterclockwise. And it's now on the bottom layer. Now you should have the white, green and orange piece on the bottom layer. Hold it with the Rubik's logo pointing up and you'll be in one of the following three positions. Either the white facing you, the white on the right face, or the white underneath. And we just position the white one facing us and we follow this algorithm. Right, clockwise, it's now in the right position. With the white on the right face, we follow this algorithm. Right, counterclockwise, down, counterclockwise, right, clockwise. Now that's in position. And when the white is on the down face, we just follow this algorithm. Down, clockwise, right, clockwise, twice. Now have our third corner in position. Solve the top layer, fourth corner. At the end of this step, we will have solved the top layer. Begin by holding your Rubik's logo pointing up. Find the final corner, mine's here. If it's on the top layer, we just need to move it on to the bottom layer as we did before. If our corner is on the top layer and we just need to move it onto the bottom layer, it'll be in one of two positions, either the white tile facing us or the white tile on the right side. It's the same algorithm for both. Right, counterclockwise, down, counterclockwise, right, clockwise. And with this one, the same algorithm again. Right, counterclockwise, down, counterclockwise, right, clockwise. We now have our piece on the bottom layer. With our white corner piece on the bottom row, it's gonna be in one of three positions. So either the white tile on the down face, the white tile facing us, or the white tile on the right face. There's three different algorithms for this one. So the first one is when it's on the down face, we follow this. Face, clockwise. Down, counterclockwise. Face, counterclockwise. Down, twice. This now positions it so it's facing us like this one, and we follow this move. Down, counterclockwise, right, counterclockwise, down, clockwise, right, clockwise. We now have our top layer complete. When it's on the right face, we follow this. Right, counterclockwise, down, counterclockwise, right, clockwise. 
You've now solved the top layer. Have a little practice yourself and try to get confident with solving the top layer before moving on to the second layer. Solve the second layer. Make the yellow face. For this lesson, we're going to complete the yellow face so it looks like this. Begin by holding your Rubik's Mini so the white face is on the down face. Your cube will now be in one of the following positions and it's important to position the cube in a certain way to complete this step. If you have one yellow tile on the up face, position it so it's in the bottom left hand corner. This saying may help. Top one. If you have no yellow tiles on top, position it so you have a yellow tile on the left face. This saying may help. None left. If you have two yellow tiles on the up face, Position it so you have a yellow one here on the front face but on the top row. This saying may help. I see two, my left thumbs on you. There is just one algorithm to follow for this stage, no matter how your cube looks, although you may need to complete it a few times. You'll notice the right face turns in opposite directions every other time, and the up face always turns clockwise. So with your cube positioned in the correct way, Let's complete that algorithm. Right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up twice, right counterclockwise. Position the cube correctly again and follow that same algorithm. Right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up clockwise twice, right counterclockwise. If you don't have all yellow tiles on the up face, rematch your Rubik's Mini to one of these pictures and repeat the algorithm. You may need to do it two or three times. Once you have all of the yellow tiles on the up face, move on to the next step. Solve the second layer. Place the yellow corners correctly. For this step, we're going to match up the yellow corners and complete the cube. Begin by holding your Rubik's Mini with the yellow on the up face. If you have two corners correct, like here, twist the top layer to match them up so we have a solid colour and we place them at the back. If you don't have two corners in the correct position, rotate the top layer until you can match two corners like this. So the blue and the blue and the orange and the orange and the green and the green and the red and the red. One of these six images may help you. We only have one algorithm again for this step and we may need to do it twice. Here's the algorithm. Right counterclockwise, face clockwise, right counterclockwise, back twice, right clockwise, face counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, back twice, right clockwise twice. I now have two of my corners correctly placed. I turn the up face to line them up so I've got a solid color and place that to the back and complete that algorithm again. Right counterclockwise, face clockwise, right counterclockwise, back twice, right clockwise, face counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, back twice, right clockwise twice. If I just turn the up face counterclockwise, you can now see my cube is complete. Congratulations, you've now solved the Rubik's Mini. Now you have a completed Rubik's Mini, use the guide to remind yourself of the algorithms and how to position the cube. Learning songs and charts is a great way to help you remember the algorithms. Once you've got to grips with the Rubik's Mini, check out our other products and set yourself a new challenge. Take pictures of your success and tag Rubik's Official on social media so we can share your posts. You're now part of a community of solvers and we can't wait to follow your solving journey.